What is up, you two? I just woke up and I'm on my way to work. But I uh, wanted to let you guys know I got new tires for the Camaro. Not necessarily by choice. My stock run flats still had a good bit of mileage left on them. I had over 26,000 miles on the car. So, I mean, you know, I could upgrade if I wanted to. Oh, railroad tracks. But, uh... I got a screw in the back left tire, so I took that out, I filled the tire, you know, fixed it, it was good, drove around a little more, noticed I was still leaking air, I was like, oh no. So I took the tire off again, and behold, another screw, a different one, new one, oh yeah. So yeah, I got another screw in the tire, and this one was super close to the sidewall. I took it out, I filled it, it ran for like a week, started losing air again, uh, filled it yet again, it lasted another few days, and it happened again. So, naturally I filled it a third time, and that just didn't hold for like even a day. So, I decided, eh, let's get some new tires. So, went down to Discount Tire, got some Continental DWS 06s. So I guess I'll be able to do a little review on these tires, but uh, it's been freezing when I go to work and my commute is not very long and I still have to wear in the tires. So it'll it'll be a little bit before I can actually tell you how much I like them. But uh, initial impressions, I like them. No complaints yet, so far, so far so good. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, new tires, who this? But yeah, it was unfortunate I got two screws in my tires like in the same tire actually and uh, it just seemed a little sketch and I was kind of worried but then realized like I did just move into a new home and it's a new construction and uh, they were still working on it when I was there and they were working on the neighbors houses so I was like I'm gonna hope that I just ran over these screws in the construction area and that's all it was which so far that seems to have been what happened so you know whatever it's been like over a month or whatever since it initially happened and we're good now so yeah if i get another screw in my tire <laughs> i'm gonna flip and yeah i know i gotta make a video talking to you guys about the headlights i don't know if i want to do that real quick or save that for another video i might go in depth in another video but uh i'm gonna go to work and on my way home i will continue this video so i will see you in a second boom flash forward surprise it's a different day so without getting too far into it uh i know some people have been asking about what i'm gonna do about the whole headlight issue so what had happened was i went to dreams motorsports to get some led drls installed and they installed it and one of them was like it was so dim that you couldn't even tell it was on and they were like oh that's lighting trends fault we'll we'll order a new one and we'll install it okay whatever so they installed a new one uh this is far later charged me yet again to have it installed uh i put it in and it was also dim granted not as dim but it's still very clearly dimmer than the other ones and they were like, oh, it's lightning trends again. Uh, we'll take care of you. We'll do it again. And I was like, I really don't want to pay to keep having you guys install broken product or whatever. Yeah, it turns out it was never lighting trends fault. So I took apart my own headlight recently. And uh, I saw like the glass tube that the LED shines through. You can see more on my Instagram about what I'm talking about. But they had broken the glass tube at first and then tried to repair it. Like they looks like they used a glue or epoxy or something on it to like try and put it back together and that's why the lights dimmer than the rest is because it's going through a not clear glass tube and then they're still trying to tell me oh it's lighting trends well like no you broke my headlight and then uh, I left a review on their google page or whatever and the owner came back at me trying to blame me for it or somebody else like you guys broke my headlight and they're talking about how they have this lifetime warranty and they're not going to honor it. He completely stopped talking to me after he said he was going to help me again. And like, I can't trust this guy anymore. So yeah, something's going to be done about that eventually. Not sure what or when yet, but uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, I paid them 
several hundred dollars on top of several hundred dollars for the actual product to get it installed and installed right and it's still not over a year later and uh yeah the blame goes to dreams motorsports so yeah but yeah for right now new tires who this soon gonna be new headlights who this you know whatever we'll get there eventually but uh thanks for stopping by hit that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed and uh, i guess eventually i will do like a review on these tires and when i think about them so uh, yeah catch you later